Hey guys, Coach AC here for our 2020 virtual soccer banquet. I just wanted to say thank you guys for a first great season as a Corinth soccer coach. Um, everyone opened their arms to me and showed me the ways and was so welcoming and I'm forever grateful for that. Um, I just wanted to start off bragging about what a great program Corinth soccer is. Um, it's so unique how we have the boys and the girls together and I felt as a coach that was such a unique opportunity where I got to see both ends of it. Um, I want to thank great coaching staff, um, Coach G, Coach Glenn, and Coach Talent. You guys have been amazing. You guys have showed me exactly you know, how we do it here and I'm very, very grateful for um, everything that you guys have taught me. Um, I want to start off with the girls team. Um, girls, I love coaching girls. That's the reason I became a soccer coach is because of girls soccer and the amazing things that come out of being a soccer player. Um, I want to say you guys had the most amazing season and I felt so lucky to be a part of it. Repeat um, to the seventh grade young girls all the way to the seniors. You guys are all so hardworking and obviously your work is paying off because of all the tremendous success that you guys have had. I can't wait to see those younger players really start developing and I'm ready to get back on the soccer field so we can start um, working on some skills. The boys team. Um, I was a little skeptical whenever I uh, hired on. They said, yeah, you'll be coaching boys as well because I've never coached boys and I'm not the largest person. And um, so yeah, you could say I was a little bit nervous, but my mind was quickly changed and I realized I love coaching boys soccer. You guys are so much fun from the birthday beat downs to the scrimmages, the bruises I got from scrimmaging you guys, um, our bus rides to all of our away games. It was so much fun and now I know I do enjoy coaching boys soccer. Um, our seniors, I just want to say I hate that we only had one season together because you guys, boys and girls, what an awesome group. You guys have all been together since you were so young and that's such a unique thing um, to start, you know, girls maybe in seventh grade and boys freshman year and carrying on all that success for so many years. It's going to be really, really hard to um, be there without you guys next year. But um, congratulations to those who are moving on and playing at the higher level. I can't wait to follow you guys. I can't wait for you to come back and, you know, show us what, what you've learned. Um, those of you who aren't playing soccer and this was your last soccer season, just cherish your memories that you've had. Um, don't hang up your soccer cleats too soon. You've got intramurals and things like that and always come back and play with us. Um, you'll always cherish the memories that you had in high school soccer and um, it'll be just a time that you'll never forget. I wish that we were able to continue our spring training. Um, I really enjoyed getting to scrimmage you guys. Um, it was so much fun, but hopefully we'll see each other soon. Um, but until then, I'm here if you need me virtually. Love you guys. Hey guys, it's Coach Talent. I certainly wish we were more together, all together. Um, but I, I try to think back and just how excited we are that we had a season, um, especially after all that's come about. I'm so hopeful that you all are safe and um, staying healthy at home. Um, I think this is a great idea that Coach Glenn had to have a virtual banquet, so you still don't miss out on that. Um, so I'm going to kind of relive some of the moments. I wish we were back in um, – definitely in October where we were starting out and um, being all together. So I definitely miss you all so much. Um, I know my seniors, y'all have missed out on a lot, um, but just y'all stay. It's going to be okay. You're going to have so many adventures coming up in college, but I am thinking about you all. So I've broken up my speech into segments of groups of kids since we have two very large teams. Um, every single one of you all means so much to me. Um, but I decided to just break it up. So you'll have to bear with me. I will have my phone at some point. I'm going to be reading some definitions to you that I think represent your part of the team. So first we're going to start with the fresh fish and the middle school girls. So y'all are my young class. Lots of y'all come into my classroom. Um, and so I came up with the word for you all is eager. And, and one, um, let me read the definition. Um, wanting to do or have something 
very much. So I think back at our first travel game at Pontotoc, and I have never seen a group of boys and girls that did not want to sit on the bench. So they just literally stood until we called their name to go in. Um, and I thought, like, surely they won't do that every single time. But sure enough, all the way to the last game, you all still were doing it. And I think it's one of the coolest things ever. Um, also, even though sometimes we get after you all for not cleaning up after practice, it just showed how much you all love the game. And we're just very proud and excited to have you all as a part of the team. So looking forward to the next three or four years with you all um, but I just love that I mean y'all were just always wanting to be in the game hey coach down when am I getting to get in the game um, and so I just really miss that and I'm just real proud of you all um, wanting to be a part of the team so much and to be out in that field that's what we need all right my next ones are my sophomores and my juniors okay so tenacious is what I got for you all and tenacious if you're not sure what it means it's tending to keep a firm hold of something, clinging or adhering closely. Um, you all were the glue of the team. You are the smallest group, um, smallest classes of the team. Um, but without you all, there would not be a team. And I know sometimes you're not the newbies and you're not the seniors. And it's kind of like, where do I fit? I just want you to know, I mean, you all were always dedicated there. Um, what you all were willing to be a different parts of the team. This includes the freshman girls, um, the sophomores and juniors on the boys team. Um, y'all were just, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. If y'all weren't there, it would, it would have been two separate teams. And I'm just really proud of you all. Y'all were the part that brought it together and um, just were positive and always ready to go. And I'm just real proud of you all. And I'm looking forward to the next few years with you all. All right, now my seniors. The word I have for you all is passionate. So you all were passionate about everything you did. You were passionate about when you were on that field. You were passionate about making sure you all got your different games in. You all were passionate about every single thing, and that rubs off on everybody. And this goes for boys and girls, and y'all are a special group. You're a large group, um, but that passionate drive that you all have is going to bode so well for you all in life. And I know, like, um, I always wanted y'all to be on the field, but I loved when you were off the field because you got to sit with me. Um, and I do, I, I noticed your passion didn't stop if you were injured or unable to play one game um, or you weren't feeling well. Um, and there, that's not very common anymore. And I'm just really, really proud of you all as a group to have such passion about everything you all do. Um, you were willing to support one another. You were all were, I mean, just always looking out for one another, checking on each other. A lot of you all don't know this, but a lot of you all come to me to check on somebody else because you all know that I always somehow know everything like I'm the mama bear. Um, but it, it doesn't go unnoticed. And I just, I know maybe your peers don't know you checked on them, but it's it's, it's so, um, it's just a good asset to have that you all are like that. And I just can't wait to see where you all go in life. And I'm certainly going to miss you all. It's, it's a big group to say goodbye to. And, um, and I certainly can't wait to hug you all when all this is over. And um, remember to always come back and see us. Um, we, we will, you're always welcome. And we just love you all so much. All right, Pain Sleeper, this is for you because every time we are on the bus, you act like I forget to check on you. So loyal, everybody knows what that means. And this is for Eli and Payne as our managers. Um, without you all, there would not be a team. There would not be a practice already set up. There would not be the stuff under the bus when we got there. Um, there would not be the, you know, I mean, you all were just always there. And I know you don't get the accolades all the time on the field, um, but those accolades on the field would not occur without your all support. Payne, we're going to certainly miss you all, uh, miss you so much. And Eli, we're excited to have you um, joining the team and being a part of it. You are a great asset to the team. So I made sure I did not forget my manager because I always get in trouble on the bus when I do roll call and I forget to call my manager. So I'm very proud of you all and I love you all. All righty, last but not least, the best coach ever goes to Coach G. Uh, we're going to miss him. It's I have a little thing for him, but I, it's at my apartment. I didn't get to go get it. Um, but G, if you haven't had time to sit behind G on a school bus, 
going home from Starkville in a full-fledged ski suit that you'll never live down. Um, you have not lived. Um, gee, you learned so much from him. Um, he teaches you so much, and we are going to really miss you. And um, the team will not be the same without you, but you are always welcome to come back. Everybody is, but you should come back occasionally. Um, but if you all don't know this, when I was sick um, last spring, he even went to check on my golf team at the state. So, certainly going to miss you. Um, but I love you all so much. All right, now y'all know me better than that. I can't end on a cry because y'all know I'm always the one that pe peps y'all up. So to end on a positive note, though, we love you all so much. And just remember, if one thing you learned from me, everything is going to be all right and we're always going to be there for one another. You're always welcome to come back and we love you all so, so much. Just remember, you're always going to be a part of the soccer team. Love you all. Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Guys and gals, cool cats and kittens. Um, I know that this is really different from what we uh, typically like to do and it's really, really, really uh, mind boggling and uh, just the amount of preparation that uh, we normally get to put into the banquet to make it as special as it could possibly be for uh, this, our players and you know, the families. It's, it's really kind of sad that we haven't had that opportunity to do that, especially with such a large senior class, um, <clears throat> and how how really special they are to Corinth soccer. So, uh, my apologies that it's a virtual YouTube video that uh, reveals all this stuff, and it's the way that we're having to do this. But it's just what we've been handed, and the only thing that we can really do. So, uh, we're going to try to make it as great as we possibly can. Um, Bear with me. I am uh, in the middle of washing clothes and uh, making sure that my son is still asleep and uh, trying to make sure the house is picked up and, you know, all those n new normal things. So it's it's kind of crazy. Uh, but <clears throat> I like to usually start off with a joke and I've, I've scoured the internet trying to find one. And uh, actually, uh, none of them that I found were as good as the one that my Google Mini told me the other day. So... Uh, uh, I'm going to go with that one today. <clears throat> Just something a little funny to kind of keep it going. Um, it says, did you hear about the uh, two antennas that got married? Um, it was a very, very mediocre wedding, but the reception was amazing. That's awesome. Hmm. Okay, so just something silly there to kind of keep it going. Um I just really want to start by saying I'm very thankful for the opportunity to have the job that I have and this uh, particular role that I've been given and trusted with. And it's truly amazing. And I try not to ever take it for granted. And uh, maybe sometimes I push a little bit harder than I should, but it's only because I care so absolute much about what I'm doing and, and who I'm doing it for. And I just really, really, really want to say thank you for the opportunity to do uh you know, it, what I do and uh, what we do. I think that's maybe more important. Uh, so just just Corinth School District and uh, all of our administration, Coach Robbins and uh, our principals and, and Gail for being a superstar behind the scenes and getting everything done for us and, uh, you know, letting us get new uniforms and things like that. It's really, really, uh, we're really in a blessed situation. So to the players and the parents, uh, you know, y'all are, equally as important and should be first on that list but just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for the chance to uh, be able to coach you and uh, try to make an impact in your life um, I'm gonna try to break this up into two sections and uh, try to do this and uh, try to be as thorough and quick as possible uh, we're gonna start with the guys first because I really think it's uh, important that they uh, so, you know, I always hear ladies first, but, you know, I'm going to kind of go against that, you know, especially with me being the girls coach. I'm going to try to spend more time uh, in the beginning talking about the guys. And I just really want to say that even though it was a tough year and it really it really didn't uh, go as maybe as planned, we still made unbelievable strides in the amount of growth that we had going on towards, especially towards the end of the year and on into January. I mean, just coming back from Christmas and thinking about a new way to play with a different, like, you know, system or formation or whatever you want to call it. And just, 
and just throwing that to the guys and watching them um, just take it and, and go with it and just be excited about it. You know, maybe they weren't excited about it, but, but to pull it together so quickly and to surprise people and make impacts in games and do it together. It was just so incredible to watch those boys play with the, all of their heart and all of their soul, like doing it for each other and, and doing it for G and just the meetings that we would have after games, after a big win or maybe even a loss and just like reflecting on it and talking about it and just marinating in what it was. It was just so incredible to see uh, everything that, that they had going on. It's just really, really special to watch that. And, you know, our group of seniors, I think it was nine boys that are leaving plus pain. Who's, probably the best manager you could ever begin to imagine. Um, it's going to be really difficult to think about doing it without you guys. I mean, y'all were kind of thrown to the wolves and you made it happen and, uh, you know, you survived it and you gave everything that you had for the badge that was on your chest. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys. Some really, really great stuff. Some big goals, and some massive defensive stops from, you know, Nate Drury in some of those games, just making unbelievable saves. And Tony Tony scoring some big goals at the end of the year and just watching him celebrate those goals was really, just really incredible. So uh, Benji was a superstar in the back, behind the back line, and uh, really getting it done. And uh, I just I just want to say, guys, you're awesome, and, and I'm, I'm really excited about the future. And the young group that's coming up and, you know, I hope to really like push and watch y'all grow and see you begin to do really, truly amazing things and start winning some trophies and, and pushing in deep into the playoffs again. So, uh, guys, just want to say once again, it's blessed, blessed opportunity to have like this opportunity to coach with you and, and be with you and, and share these moments on those cold nights. It's, it's really a special thing. Okay. Uh, maybe now to a little bit more of my expertise, the girls, um, wow. Where do you even start? I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know. I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes and I'm already at six and a half. So I don't, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that, but I'm going to try my hardest. Um, it's such a special group of kids. Um, we had more girls on our team than we've had in the last couple of years, and uh, I know that meant for a lack of minutes for some of the girls, and they really didn't get to play maybe as they wanted to. But also the state didn't really help us out with a, uh, a new goal, um, seven goal minimum or maximum, whatever you want to, want to call that, difference. So that changed the way that we play a little bit. But <clears throat> I think we made the most of it. We were as respectful as we could have been, and uh, we tried our hardest to – let our senior girls do what they were doing, but also give the young girls their chances to play and uh, to grow and get that vital experience. So just want to say this to the young kids, especially the ones that spent a lot of time on the bench this year. You know, it's a place to learn. The bench is definitely a place to learn, and uh, you can really learn a lot if you dig in and, and really pay attention to what's going on. And, you know, just just in case some people maybe forgot, uh, you know, Sarah Kate Burns and – and Sarah Bickard and Allison Green and Caroline Grisham and Leslie Herrera and Bennett Harwood and Olivia Bonds, that whole group all sat on the bench when they were young kids too. And look at what look at the chapter that they wrote in Corinth Soccer. They went from the bench to making just making Corinth Soccer the girls program be what it's never been before. So to the young girls, there's a challenge there for you. Um, you know, and you had some significant impacts from some younger girls like Haley having to come in and the goal and take care of, uh, take care of all that. When Cheyenne was injured, America and Mimi did some really good things in the attack off the bench. And, uh, that was really great. And defensively, we really try to throw some bones to Bell Mitchell and Reagan Houston and, uh, Catherine Grisham. And I really think that they did a really good opportunity with the chances that they got. And, uh, you know, y'all are going to be the spine of our team next year. And it's really going to be uh, a challenge to uh, keep us where we're at. So, you know, I hope you're working hard and I hope you're thinking about all that. To the older girls, these seniors that are going out, I don't even know where to start. It's just, uh, it's been six years for some of us. And, wow, y'all really didn't deserve a virtual banquet. Y'all deserved a 
a, uh, a freaking parade through town or something like that. I don't even know, but it's, uh, it's been really special and, uh, I just want to try to go through and, uh, point out all the good things that we've done real quick. Uh, Cheyenne, uh, came to us last year and she wasn't even a soccer player and now she's going to Mississippi Gulf coast to play soccer at the next level. I mean, it just shows you how great this sport is and the opportunities it can provide. Uh, Ben and Olivia, uh, they're all too often y'all were put into a group and I hate that. I hate that y'all were, uh, always just defensive center backs, but I mean, it really wasn't that at all. Y'all are an unbelievable special group of kids who have sacrificed so much to make sure that we have had the success that we've had. Y'all two in the back, for as long as you've been doing it, have never gotten enough credit. I've always tried to make sure that I pointed it out when I could, but you just need to know that there's you need your whole you need a whole new video just for y'all to. Uh, the sacrifice and the effort and the impact that you've made in the back line. It's just really incredible to see. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart how special you are to us. Uh, Jordan, Emma, Jasmine, the rest of that back line and that defensive front, uh, y'all just always did such good things. And uh, a lot of times y'all got thrown around and moved to different positions and you just never complained and you just were always excited to be out on the field and make impacts. And you did a really, really, really great job this year. And I'm just so proud of y'all. Uh, that front five with Leslie and Carol and, and Bickard and Burns and Allison Green and I'm going to spend a special moment talking about Caroline Wilbanks. But y'all have just been so fun to watch. I mean, just watching you grow and, and watching you do it together. And, you know, I think the best thing about it is you did it together. Uh, you scored goals together. And you did it for each other. It never really was the selfish thing. Like, I've got to get mine. And she, you know, like she can't have a goal because then she'll have more than me. It was always just... Uh, let's set each other up and let's just make it happen. And uh, uh, that was really, really fun to watch. And, you know, you, the impacts that you've made on this program and the goals and the records and, this, and everything that you've done is just out of this world crazy, out of this world crazy. It'll, it'll never be topped. It'll never be topped. Um, uh, like I said, I want to point out how special Caroline Wilbanks was because a lot of times she started her work from the bench and, but I think what was so important, and I tried to tell this to her face, just when you came in, you uh, you changed the game. It didn't matter where we put you, up top, out wide, in the back, in the middle, marking up a girl from Amory in your career. You know, it didn't matter. You always came in and changed the game. And it's tough for another team to deal with that. When we throw that first group at them and, you know, 10, 15 minutes into the game and outside mid's tired, and then we are able to throw someone like you on in that position and just absolutely ravage their back line. It's just, it's just, it's unstoppable. And you have performed so well in that role. And when injury occurred later in the season, you stepped in as a, as a starter and, and, and really, really, really did some amazing things. And so you never really got the credit you deserved, but I just, I wanted to make a point in this video to be sure to let you know how much I appreciate the work that you've put in to our coaches. Wow. Just wow. Uh, you know, a little bit of uncertainty coming into the season with uh, a new coach, but AC has been great and she's just come in and, and done everything that she needed to do to, you know, learn as quickly as she can and, and just hop in and take a, take a group over here and run sessions with them and just watching you grow and watching you interact and, uh, watching you, uh, just shape these kids. It's been really, really great. Martha, this is your second year with us and wow. You know, when we didn't know we needed you until we got you. And then, you know, this year was even more impressive. Just the role that you feel, that organizer, that the quick word you have at halftime or at the end of a game or that, you know, just everything that you bring to the plate is just so incredible. And I'm just so thankful for uh, y'all to you and AC and everything that you do for us. And it's just really a special thing. Uh I don't even know how to begin to talk about G right now. Uh, when we went to the All-Star game together and uh, were able to coach down there and 
and do it together and win one more together, it was really a special thing, you know. Losing in the first round of the playoffs to Caledonia, it really didn't need to be the, the way you went out. So to be able to go down and, and coach one more time together and just me and you, just it just was a perfect closing to that chapter. And I just wish you all the best in everything that you've got going on. And I just I can't say thank you enough from the bottom of my heart for the impact that you've made in my life and showing me how to be a, a Christian man. And even though I fail at that daily, uh, I had to shake the computer for impact right there. But you're just a special human being. And uh, anyone that gets the chance to be influenced by you is truly, truly blessed. Uh, I said I was going to go 10 minutes and I'm at 14. So I'm going to try to wrap this up as quickly as I can. Uh, the, the future is going to be definitely very different and, uh, I'm glad that I get to be a part of it. Uh, all I know is that the only way that we'll be able to continue to do what we're doing at the level that we're doing is together. And so I'm just asking everyone to buy in to whatever we've got and we'll do it together. We will come together as one one program, boys and girls, and we will push to be the best that we can possibly be. And, you know, I don't want anyone around us to celebrate because we've lost 19 seniors. I want them to be worried about the next group that's coming. So we're going to work hard to make sure that that's happening. Uh, just keep faith in the plan, and uh, I think we'll be able to do it. So uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Just say God bless you. I hope that during this time you're staying safe, and I hope that you are uh, enjoying some quality family time. Uh, I've really got the chance to spend some unbelievable amount of time with my son and, uh, any time that I miss during the season, uh, has been definitely made up and it's been special. Uh, I love my family, but y'all are my extended family and I love y'all too. So I'm looking forward to be able to get back into that with y'all and, and, uh, hopefully we'll know more about what the future holds in the near future, you know, coaching changes and, uh, Maybe do we get to play summer soccer games or not? So uh, we'll, we'll find out soon. But all I know is that uh, I couldn't be more excited to do it with you. And uh, I'm looking forward to everything that we have going on. Just thanks again. And uh, God bless you all. And sorry for all the rambling. Hey, guys. Welcome to Virtual Banqueting. Here we are. Um, it's not the way we planned it. It's not maybe even the way we wanted it. Certainly not the way we wanted it, but it is the way it is. And so I'm outside. I'm on a porch. There's a street just here. There will probably be um, a, a group of Harley Davidsons go by real loud, small planes, helicopters, um, tanks maybe. But we'll, um, I'll adjust if you can endure, and, um, and we'll just try to keep the tape rolling as best we can. Um, Guys, when I think of um, this season, I've got no regrets. I've got a lot of fond memories. I've got a lot of pride on, on what you guys did and, and who you are. Um, I think of, you know, obviously, I think of the New Albany match um, with the, the, the Beard match. And then the very next day with, uh, with Pontotoc and you played out of your minds and, 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 beat two teams who thought they were going to come and just get off a bus, do their thing, and get back on a bus. And, and that was quite satisfying. I think of the Ripley game, our second match with them, um, and uh, went to PKs. And um, another brilliant match, the, the Caledonia match. That, um, um, that I mean, the first half was a thing of absolute beauty. And... Um, and I, and I say those because um, we we got out of the gates kind of slow. We um, it didn't it did not bounce and go as we had wanted or as we dreamed or as we had trained. Um, but what it did do it gave us an opportunity to find out if we could um, just enjoy the next day of booting up, getting uh, back in the game, doing some exploration of, of you know what's what's some things that we can switch around and mess around with. And you guys, absolutely, everything that we came up with, you did without a grumble. You did with a lot of uh, uh, intensity, a lot of joy, and, and you just went out and you did it, and, and, and you enjoyed the process. Um, and you know, and I hope I might even have to insist that you don't forget that, that you remember that um, 
it, it, absolutely. The season did not end the, the way you wanted to, but you overcame some things. And, you know, and competing in sports and coaching and, and all this, it's just putting puzzle pieces together and, 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 and putting things in a, in a good opportunity. To, and, and you see what happens. Um, sometimes it flourishes and sometimes it doesn't. And then you either just throw all the pieces on the floor and go away or you, you put them back on the table and go, OK, let's try this again. And that's, and that's what you did. And I mean, I can, who could ask for anything more than that? The way you, the way you played, I mean, January, you hit January with fire. Um, and, and, as, <laughs> and as we got going, then we had our own small, tiny pandemic of just a sickness that went through our squad that um, kind of uh, put us in some, in some places that, yeah, once again, we didn't dream of being there, didn't want to be there, but um, um, as one went down, others rose up, and then we just, you just fought. You, you know, I ask you all year to, to play hard for the guy that was beside you, for you, um, for the team to be better because you were there, for um, to, to, to give an opportunity to make that teammate better because you were playing for him and beside him. Um, and, and you did it. And it, and it was, it was a beautiful thing. And, uh, you know, so once again, uh, no regrets. If, if, if you only live for all the wins, then you're going to be disappointed at some point because ultimately you're not going to win every match. But if you get yourself in a position to where you're learning from sometimes skint knees and rolling up your sleeves and getting back in there, adjusting, enduring and overcoming, you're going to, um, you're going to handle times that, that, don't go as you wanted them. I mean, you can do all the things technically right and still sometimes miss the prize, but it doesn't mean that you you get lost. So hang your heads high for what you did, for the memories that you made. See, I told you. And um, and I hope you I hope you look back on this time with 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 a lot of great memories. A lot of you, you were a fun group. You're an intense group. You were willing to, to go out and do it kind of group. And, you know, I applaud you. I love you. I'm grateful for you. Uh, a, a huge thrill. And girls, I mean, how you played some beautiful matches, did some very beautiful technical things. But I'm going to tell you the thing that, that really over the past two or three years that I've watched and really – have enjoyed is the ownership that you took with it um, for the team with the team um, the, the times that you guys would um, troubleshoot at halftime or you know post practice and um, and that, that that leadership just rose and spoke um, and really without drama and so the great leadership great um, uh, just Two great teams, these guys and girls. The way that you you put it together and you and you played for one another, um, outstanding. Um, seniors, I've um, I've had the thrill of, of, of seeing you since you were little soccerlings. I made that word up. That um, as you when you got here and you 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 know you weren't where you were gonna be, but but I look back and I look at how you. You fought hard and you practiced hard and you and you got in there and you mixed it up and um, looking back, I can see all that stuff was just there, kind of like watching a, a plant grow and it, it it was all right there and then it just matured and into some really um, strong human beings who happen to be very good soccer players. So, um, girls, it's been. Um, it's been a large thrill to, to have been from, from where I was able to come up and paddle beside you and, and the conversations and the, and just watching you go, go after it. And, um, well done. The, um, the coaching staff, I mean, the, you know, ACE coach AC, Coach Talent, Coach Glenn, and this is to you. Thank you. I mean, it, it the there's a rhythm and a pace and a cadence that um, that that we were afforded that um, doesn't just happen naturally. 
and the, the way that um, uh, that we were able to blend so quickly um, and to watch strengths just um, rise and uh, it, 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 I, I'm deeply, deeply grateful for that. The, um, I, I miss the, the, the post practice and post game conversations um, that often had very little to do with soccer, to be honest with you folks. But just the relationship and the, and the, and the time that we were able to spend um, working beside each other, is, it's, it's been a, a large thrill of mine. And um, to, to players that are, that are coming up, don't stop working as hard as you've been working. It's been, um, there, there's a lot there. And um, I, I expect nothing else but to, to watch you continue to grow and, and, and just work, sharpen your claws and get better and better and, um, and, and, and keep, it, keep it together. And if you will, um, as you go, I hope, I even, my prayer for you is that you will have an opportunity to one day have an, to do for a job what you love to do and work with people that you love to work with. I would call that successful. I can't, I can't say thank you enough to the, uh, to the Corinth administration, with Coach Robbins and, and Gail and Mr. Barnett, everybody that has just supported this program. You know, somewhere along the way, it, 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 it just, it grew into just not girls soccer, not guys soccer, but just the current soccer program that has two different teams. All I can say is thank you for letting me be a part of it. And that um, I've loved every minute. And it is, um, and I will treasure it forever. Thanks. The first time for
Greg, you're such a gift to me and you've impacted me in so many ways. You're my soccer coach, my softball coach, my youth pastor, and so much more. And even though I'm seven years out of being in high school, I'm playing for you and being in the youth house, you're still one of the first people that I call. Uh, I'm so excited for this next season and I can't wait to see what it holds. I love you so much. Well, 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 it seems that Greg Parker is retiring from coaching Corinth High School boys soccer. And I was asked to say a few things about coaching with Greg, and uh, there's a lot that can be said about coaching with Greg. Uh, one, it always seemed like the road trips that we went on um, were not very long travel two three five hours on a yellow bus we always have plenty to talk about uh, but it also probably had a lot to do with the youth trips we took during the summer um, that were way longer than five hour bus rides um, and there, there's a whole bunch of stories that could be said there but I'll digress um, Greg had a lot of passion um, he wanted to learn, uh, he invested in his craft, uh, he spent countless hours dreaming up wild practice plans um, that a, a lot of people would say have absolutely nothing to do with the game of soccer, um, but they were effective and um, he, he uh, did very well coming as a baseball background person to the world of soccer. Uh, one of the greatest things about coaching with him is when you did finally score, uh, he, he knew how to celebrate. And he also remembered like every moment that took place um, during the game or leading up to the score. Uh, here recently I've enjoyed from afar uh, the birthday wishes that he puts out on Twitter. Um, and it was just a joy to coach with you, be around you, uh, to be able to call you a friend, uh, a brother, and uh, to get to know your, your passion for sports, your competitiveness, um, but also to get to know you uh, as a person and how much you cared about leading the, the kids in Corinth and uh, being true to them. So um, you're a godly man. Uh, you've influenced me. You've influenced a lot of people. Uh, and you'll be greatly missed on the soccer field. Um, parting thought, we always knew the best places to go eat and we uh, sought those out very well on our road trips. Uh, in our games. So good luck, Greg. I know you're venturing into a new thing and I uh, wish you the best and I enjoy being a small part of your uh, soccer coaching career. If I was to describe G, I would describe a bald, tall, skinny fella with a goatee that dances in the wind, the legs of a stork, a coffee drinker, very organized, very agile for an old man, always on time, hardly ever finished practice on time. He defined the word ish. He said practice would be at five, end at five. He could add ish to it and maybe be 6.30 finishing practice. One memory in particular I remember about G is uh, after a game at Center Hill, after a loss, it was a little round robin we had. He 
said something to the fact if I'd give you a, a plastic spoon and ask you to pick it up and charge up a hill with me into battle, I expect you to do it. Gee, thanks for the years of service to the Carn Soccer, Soccer Program. Thanks for letting me come on board and share what little I knew about soccer. Most of all, I want to thank you for the difference you have made in the lives of players that have nothing to do with soccer. Very thankful for your friendship. Love you, brother. If you ever need me, you have my number. soccer program. You're going to be missed, G. Wishing you the absolute best. Hey, G. Uh, you're definitely the best coach I've ever had. Taught me a lot of things. Uh, now it's time for me to teach you more about disc golf. Love you.